What is going on today, guys? It is Step On It Gaming, and we have some tech news about the Razer Forge TV. This is a really nice system, and I feel like Razer could really pull this off and destroy the other competition out there on the market. So for about 100 bucks, you're going to get this little system and a controller, and the system has 16 gigs of memory. It's running off Android 5.0 Lollipop. You also get 2 gigs of RAM, and you got a nice processor. You got some nice wireless connectivity. It also has Ethernet capability and an HDMI as well, so you can hook it up to your TV and have that full HD streaming. You can also have a huge selection of content and apps such as Hulu, Google Music, YouTube, and Crackle. It also has some nice Android games as well. It has Modern Combat 5, Asphalt 8 Airborne, some real boxing, nice stuff like that. It also supports a local multiplayer game, so you can play up to four players on some games. But the controllers are about 40 bucks each, so if you want to play multiplayer, it could get expensive. You can also use Razer Servo, which is a Bluetooth game controller for Android. It's basically the Razer controller with a clip that you can clip your phone onto and play games with that. You can also stream desktop games to your Razer TV. So at first I was like, yo, this is going to suck because no one's going to be able to use it because of the connection because you need super fast internet and you're also going to need a gaming PC. But what they did is if you have a gaming PC and you have a decent internet connection, it will adjust. So, you know, if you have super nice internet connection, it'll go in full 1080. Or if you have DC, it'll go to 720p. So it will adjust to your internet connection, which is a really nice feature that a lot of the other streaming services do not offer. So I think Razer could really pull this off and they could do a great job with this system as long as they keep updating the Android you know, games, making sure everything's working nice, adding content and apps. And I feel like Razer can really do a great job with this and do a great thing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed it, do not forget to leave a like. And if you guys want to see more from this channel, do not forget to subscribe.